For the 49ers, John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan, they have the number three pick in the draft. I want you to hear something that Dominique Foxworth said yesterday on our show, talking with some skepticism as it relates to the hype surrounding Trey Lance. As impressive as Trey Lance's highlights are, are something about those highlights give me some pause because I look at the end zone and it says Penguins. Like he's playing against Youngstown State. Like let's relax. Let's calm it down a little bit. He's balling against Penguins. It's hard for me to get too excited about that tape. Well, that's what he said. Meanwhile, Dan Orlovsky on Twitter yesterday in talking about Lance tweeted, you don't draft on production, you draft on projection. So a couple of different ways to look at this very intriguing prospect. Let's look at him a little more closely, Field and Mike T. And Dan, I'll start with you. It's usually Ryan Clark I asked to do this, but explain that tweet. <laughs> Well, Greeny, quarterback production is a completely dependent result, especially in college football. Okay, like what was your play caller like? How did your receivers play? How good was the offensive line? Like, I know a lot, I've seen a lot of quarterbacks in college football that at the end of the day, they played a top 10 defense and they threw for 380 yards and 70% completion percentage. So their production was incredible. Well, eight of those throws were screens behind the line of scrimmage that receivers took into 120 yards after the catch, right? So the quarterback production thing is such an overblown thing. I would say this, everybody at home, go on your computer right now and type in uh, all-time college passing leaders. You're not going to find a name until you get to like 20 that's had a really good NFL career. Do it with touchdowns. You won't find a name until like 30 that's had a good NFL career. Projection is completely individualized. What are you as a player? What is your skill set and your traits and your talents? What are they now and what could they potentially be in five years? I don't really care what you did versus a certain team. Projection over production. That's a really fascinating one and I haven't heard it framed with those specific words, but it really is a good way to look at it. Mike T is one who has made these picks. Projection versus production. How do you see it? There is a time and place for projection, but not what San Francisco just did, trading two first-round picks and a third. One of the biggest mistakes I made in my career was drafting Vernon Golston with the sixth pick. It was a projection. He played with his hand down. We were transitioning to 3-4. It was a bad decision with a bad process. We should have done that in the second or third round. You could live to fight another day. I can't imagine that Kyle Shanahan would trade up two ones and a third not to know who they're going to take. And when you see them flying around the country, going to Ohio State last week with Justin Fields being in North Dakota yesterday, what that says to me and what I am hearing around the league is they are not unanimous in who they want to pick, meaning John Lynch, Adam Peters, and Kyle Shanahan. And at the Jets, we had a sign in our draft room, in God we trust, for everyone else, we need data. And I think what they're doing is they're checking those last box in, in terms of being very thorough. I kind of like that. All right, so Yates, and, and you sit there and you are talking to absolutely everybody. Give me the way you see it, because we're done now. I mean, the process, for the most part, is done. Fields had a second pro day. Lance had a second pro day. Mac Jones had two pro days. Where are we right now, nine days from the draft, as far as where these quarterbacks should be expecting to go? Yeah, so Greeny, everybody has an opinion on every other team during the pre-draft process, right? So you want to know about what the 49ers' plans are? You can ask 31 other teams because the 49ers, lips sealed. Everybody else, they've got a thought. And I will just say this, despite the fact that there's been some suggestions recently and some visits by the 49ers to both Justin Fields and Trey Lance's second pro days that Almost every person that I talk to around the NFL believes the 49ers are still going to be taking Mac Jones third overall. And I don't know if this is because we've had too much time to think about the pick, that we've talked ourselves into changing our minds, but I do believe that Mac Jones remains the favorite for the 49ers. And while Trey Lance and Justin Fields may not go number three, I still think the four for those two quarterbacks is pick nine whether that's the broncos or somebody moving up i don't think any of these five quarterbacks slides out of the top 10. thank you for watching espn on youtube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to espn plus